Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this two-part video you should be able to use Avogadro's constant to calculate the number of molecules and atoms in a given sample. Remember that this work applies only to higher students, so if you're doing foundation then you don't need to do this. In the last video we saw that one mole is also called Avogadro's constant and it has a value of 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. We learned how to calculate the number of atoms in a given number of moles of molecules. In this video we're going to take this one stage further. We're going to learn how to calculate the number of atoms in a given mass of a chemical. Here's a sample question. Calculate the number of atoms in 48 grams of magnesium. As you can see we've not been given the number of moles. We need to calculate this from the mass and we use this equation which we've seen in a previous video. The number of moles equals the mass we're given in grams divided by the relative atomic mass. So we've got 48 grams of magnesium and the relative atomic mass of magnesium is 24. Remember that you are given all the numbers that you need in your exam. So this means that we've got two moles of magnesium. Remember that one mole is Avogadro's constant which is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Therefore in two moles of magnesium the total number of atoms is Avogadro's constant multiplied by 2. This gives us a final answer of 1.204 times 10 to the power of 24 atoms. Here's one for you. Calculate the number of atoms in 28 grams of lithium and the relative atomic mass of lithium is 7. Pause the video and try this for yourself. Ok so first we need to calculate the number of moles of lithium that we have. 28 divided by 7 tells us that we've got 4 moles. Remember that one mole contains Avogadro's constant of atoms. So to calculate the number of atoms, we multiply 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 by 4, which gives us a final answer of 2.408 times 10 to the power of 24 atoms. Now you could be asked to work out the number of atoms in a compound, and that's also fairly straightforward. Here's a sample question. Calculate the number of atoms in 56 grams of calcium oxide. This has the formula CaO. Now calcium oxide is a compound, so to calculate the number of moles we need to use this equation. The number of moles is the mass in grams divided by the relative formula mass. First we need to work out the relative formula mass of calcium oxide. Calcium oxide has one atom of calcium and one atom of oxygen. Calcium has a relative atomic mass of 40 and oxygen has a relative atomic mass of 16. So the relative formula mass will be 40 plus 16, giving us a value of 56. So we can now calculate the number of moles by dividing 56 by 56, giving us one mole of calcium oxide. We know that the number of molecules in one mole is Avogadro's constant, in other words 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. So we've got 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules of calcium oxide. But remember that the question is asking us to calculate the number of atoms, not the number of molecules. Each molecule of calcium oxide contains two atoms, one atom of calcium and one atom of oxygen. So we need to multiply the number of molecules by 2 to get the total number of atoms. So the total number of atoms in 56 grams of calcium oxide is 1.204 times 10 to the power of 24. And that's our final answer. Here's one for you to try. Calculate the number of atoms in 54 grams of water. And water has the formula H2O. Pause the video and try this yourself. Ok so first we've got to calculate the number of moles of water molecules. And to do that we need to know the relative formula mass for water. Water contains two atoms of hydrogen, and hydrogen has a relative atomic mass of 1. Water also contains one atom of oxygen, and oxygen has a relative atomic mass of 16. Adding these numbers together gives us a relative formula mass for water of 18. To calculate the number of moles, we divide the mass that we're given by the relative formula mass. So we've got 54 divided by 18, which means that we've got 3 moles of water. We know that the number of molecules in one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. In other words, Avogadro's constant. However, we've got 3 moles of water. So that means that we've got 1.806 
times 10 to the power of 24 molecules of water. Now the question is asking for the total number of atoms. And remember that each molecule of water contains three atoms. This means that the final number of atoms will be 5.418 times 10 to the power of 24. You'll find plenty of questions on using Avogadro's constant in my Vision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to use Avogadro's constant to calculate the number of molecules and atoms in a given sample.